Abortion rights continue to spark debate across the country as each state adopts its own laws. Right now, Texas has the most restrictive laws, effectively banning abortions. Illinois lawmakers sit on the opposite end, passing a bill that eases abortion access for minors. Five on your side's Pepper Baker joins us live in Fairview Heights outside of Planned Parenthood to explain what this means. Pepper. Yes, the Illinois Senate and House passed House Bill 370, which repeals the Parental Notification Act, which means minors could get access to abortion care without notifying a parent or a guardian. I spoke to people on both sides of the debate about what that would mean if Governor J.B. Pritzker signs it into law. This was a great win for ensuring that our youngest patients, our adolescents and young women have full access to um, safe abortions. That's why the pro-life community is, um, is really so, so sad and, and really outraged to see this law um, be repealed. Planned Parenthood St. Louis Region Chief Medical Officer Dr. Colleen McNicholas and Pro-Life Action League Executive Director Eric Scheidler have differing perspectives on Illinois House Bill 370, which repeals the Parental Notification Act a law that was first signed into law in, in 1995, and it's credited with saving about 12,000 children from abortions um, because of this process whereby the abortion facility would inform a parent uh, that a minor girl was seeking an abortion. For most folks who are accessing abortion care, they are already engaging um, an adult in their life if that is a safe thing for them to do. But the reality is that for others, they don't have a safe space to engage um, a parent or another adult in their life. The Illinois House and Senate passed the bill, which now awaits Governor J.B. Pritzker's signature. SIU Edwardsville Students for Reproductive Rights Vice President Bridget Patrick led efforts to reach lawmakers. As often, I believe minors, sometimes they're afraid to come forward. Um, they may not be in the best home situation environment that is supporting of them, so a lot of times coming forward could have health and safety consequences for them. Minors can carry out and manage their pregnancies without parental involvement. McNicholas believes it should be the same for abortions. If we trust young folks to make decisions about pregnancy, we should also trust them to make decisions about ending a pregnancy. Governor Pritzker is expected to sign the bill into law, which would then go into effect in June of 2022. Meanwhile, Missouri requires a parent to be present at a minor's abortion procedure. And Dr. McNicholas says that Missouri also requires a second parent to be notified as well. In Fairview Heights, Pepper Baker, five on your side. Well, the